This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today. July 14th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. As we already know, we've had an X-Class solar flare. It was generated by Sunspot AR3738, seen here on SDO at 131 angstroms. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash. Radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing a shortwave radio blackout over Australia, Southeast Asia, and Japan. Mariners and ham radio operators in the area may have noticed a 30-minute loss of signal at all frequencies below 25 megahertz. And of course, so far no coronal mass ejections have been detected in available chronograph imagery. The explosion may not have lasted long enough to lift a coronal mass ejection out of the sun's atmosphere. More explosions are in the offerings. AR3738 has become a beta, gamma, delta magnetic sunspot that harbors energy for additional X-class solar flares. And we all know as this sunspot reaches the far side, the exiting side of our sun, we have our spiral geomagnetic connection connecting Earth to this departing limb of our sun. So any additional flares from henceforth may may be geoeffective towards Earth. Let's take a look quickly at that radio blackout. And over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center at the peak of the X-Flare, we can see that Australia and all the Philippines, Indonesia, and parts of Russia were hit directly with the solar flare. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, always remember, Anything's possible in Bizarro World.